Hey guys, this video is a follow up to the video I did yesterday on the new AirSense 11, which some of you were too happy about. So apologize for that little joke. I didn't know everyone was so sensitive. In that video, it did like a bit of substance. It was mainly just to show you guys, you know, what the machine looks like. Didn't really have too much other information than that. So luckily for me in the comments section, a lovely guy called Will wrote, I just got one. And I was like, what? Didn't know they were even out yet. And yeah, so Will put in an order for an AirSense 10 and somehow got delivered the AirSense 11. So congratulations, buddy. But anyway, Will sent me through the manual so I could look through it and see if there's any sort of new features, which is what I really wanted to discuss and really wanted to know. So even though it's gonna be a little bit boring, I thought we'd just go through some of the pages and talk about things that I found a little bit interesting and some of the things that might be changing. And I guess we'll start with the first page. So you can see up in the top of the first page how it says the three models, auto set, CPAP and elite. So you've got there the auto set, which is gonna be like the automatic one. The elite is gonna be a fixed pressure one, I assume. And then the CPAP, maybe that's sort of like a budget option. I did notice there was no mention for, for her. For those of you that don't know, with the AirSense 10, ResMed had the two different versions. They had the black for him. And then they had the white with the pretty flowers for her, with the sensitive algorithm, because women who are hormonal or menopausal have a few more sleep apnea events, so they need a dedicated algorithm to suit them. <laughs> it's just marketing BS, guys. Let's call for what it is, okay? It's really clever marketing because all of you women out there, put your hand up and go, oh, oh, the for her version. Oh, that's the one I should buy because it's made for her and I'm a her. You don't see any other manufacturer doing this sexist for her, for him. I mean, we're all breathing. Apnea is apnea, guys, okay? Air pressure is air pressure, apnea is apnea. Pretty disrespectful to the men, really. I mean, we've got hormones too. Okay, moving on, page two. The only thing I can see different here is the power cord and the connector. It looks like they've gone to the same connector they used with the Air Mini machine. That's gonna be a little bit annoying for those of you using the AirSense 10 machine that are using it with batteries and stuff because you're gonna to have to go hunting around for new DC cables. Moving on, page three. Now in this page, I noticed test drive and the mask fit. This new test drive, I think it's for beginners and it's gonna sort of help you get used to the therapy. And I've done a number of videos on how to get used to the therapy. And I think the companies are actually sort of following my advice, which is start low with the therapy pressure and then you can gradually increase it as people get better with it. Page four, one thing I found interesting is if you look down the bottom there, it says on the homepage, clinician or user. And so that's obviously when you first turn the machine on, you get to press either of those buttons. So I'd love to know what happens if you press that clinician button, does it just let you into the clinician mode or do you have to enter a password? Page five is the humidifier. The only thing I found interesting is that the humidification chamber still holds 380 mils, the same as the AirSense 10. Page six, the only thing I found interesting about this page was that the screen itself on the AirSense 11 is light sensitive. So if you're in a really bright environment, the screen will be nice and bright so you can see it easily. And if you're in a dark environment, then the, the screen will be a bit dimmer so it's not so bright on your eyes. Uh, page eight, not, not a whole lot difference here. The humidifier still has eight levels and the heated tube still has the same temperature sort of range. So nothing difference there. Page nine, the therapy data. So we've still got the SD card, which is great for those of you that use Oscar. And they're still doing the wireless thing. There was no mention of sort of data privacy like I've been advocating for or anything like that. Your data is still just gonna be shipped off to ResMed servers without you opting into it. So that's a bit of a shame, but they're still there. So page 10 and 11 were probably the most interesting for me personally. On page 10, they've got this little section there that says the design life. And it says that the design life for the machine is, is five years. And I'd noticed that on some of the forums recently, people have been putting up some, some images of their machines showing these little pop-ups saying that the motor had reached its dedicated design life. And they were asking questions like, 
Oh no, is my machine dying? I think I need to go get another machine. I'd never seen or heard of this before, but maybe this is some sort of thing that the CPAP manufacturers are incorporating into their firmware so that once your motor reaches a certain number of hours, it's going to pop up with, an, with something to say, you need to go and get another machine. Now, that, that screams sales tactics to me. Um, and from the forum messages that I'd seen and these people panicking that their machine was gonna blow up or something, I think it's gonna work for them. So I just wanna let you know, guys, that I think realistically a 10-year lifespan is, is probably pretty good. I mean, I've still got TVs 10 years ago. I've got plenty of electronics that have lasted 10 years. My fridge out there has lasted 10 years. So if you see one of these messages pop up on your screen that your machine sort of passed its use-by date, whatever you do, just don't go and buy a machine. If you're cleaning your filter and taking good care of your machine, then it should last much longer than, than five years. And I've got, I know heaps of people that have got machines 15 years old and more. So yeah, that, I'm not, I don't know where that's going, but that freaked me out a little bit. So then we'll go on to page 11, and this freaked me out as well a little bit. So the warranty, the warranties are two years. That, that doesn't seem long enough for me, I'm sorry. I know some Chinese manufacturers of CPAP machines and, and even they've got five year warranties. Five year warranty for the Chinese stuff and then the high end stuff, the Philips DS2 and the Air Limit, two years? If you're making the machines to last five years, then at least give people that five year warranty. All right guys, so where to from here? Well, from all my research and all my digging around and everything I've looked at, I can't see any big differences between the AirSense 10 and the 11 thus far. I'm not gonna call it just yet, but thus far. Um, we've got the color touchscreen, which looks really nice. We've got the test drive feature, which is gonna be for beginners to help them get acclimatized to the therapy. And then I think they're gonna incorporate that for her algorithm into the new machine. So you can have a choice between whether or not you want the for her algorithm, the sensitive algorithm or the standard algorithm. So you'll be able to choose between the different algorithms. And apart from that, not, not a whole lot. So we might be heading down the same road as the Dream Station 2, which would be very disappointing. But like I said, I'm not gonna call it just yet. And we'll just have to wait and see until I can get it, sleep with it, use it, and let you know. But for the time being, if you've just got an AirSense 10, then don't, don't stress too much because I don't think you're gonna be missing out on a whole lot. But all right, so if you've made it this far, here's a little something I put together just to uh, make it a little bit more entertaining. <laughs> Please forgive me for the bad singing. CPAP blowing in the dead of night Helping me to breathe so I don't die But man, I'm dry I can't get this master seal, it's blowing in my eyes Seatback blowing in the dead of night And when I wake up in the morning I'm not tired I'm energized My wife no longer punches me or rolls me on my side Happy wife Happy life Hit the like and please subscribe Great day, guys. Catch you later.